Hi, brothers and sisters. It's Pastor Tim Henderson with the loveliest bride in all the land, my wife, Karen. And we have been out, up and out early. Praise God. We got some good prayer time. Yes. Time in the Word. You already worn me out. <laughs> <laughs> she already told me, get me food and let me take rest. But that's okay. Um, God is faithful. I wanted to bring you, I wanted to remind everyone at 1030 Central Standard Time, I will be leading a live prayer. So come with your supply. We're going to agree together. Praise God. We've had great testimonies that have come from those prayers and we, we give all the glory to God. Amen. That's a work of Holy Spirit in the life of believers. Hallelujah. Right. I want to bring you guys, you know, we've been watching what's going on. I shared yesterday how Hamas... They literally have made statements publicly like we're going to go over to we're going to cross the border of Israel and we are going to tear out or rip out or take out the hearts of the Israelis. There are already there's like something like 30,000 protesters at the Gaza border. Now, so far, reports from mediums like Jerusalem Post, IDF, nothing significant. The last I checked had happened, although there were rocks and and tires thrown over the border. There's also reported that there was a fire across the border in Israel. If I think it's something like 8,500 square feet of land or miles, of, it's, I, I don't remember. But there was a there this in the past year alone, the amount of land that has been burned up in Israel from Hamas the incendiary devices, the balloons with fire on them. They believe it's already an incendiary device, maybe a balloon with fire that caused a fire in Israel, but I, I don't know that for fact. We are keeping watch. We know that it's the March of Return, the annual March of Return. In addition, you have the, the Hamas leader himself is there. You have intelligence officers from Egypt joining that protest for the March of Return and, and Palestinians. So it's significant. Anything could, will something open up? Well, we continue to pray for all the people. Most of all, we continue to pray that they come to faith in Yeshua HaMashiach and Jesus Messiah mm -hmm. on both sides of that wall. Well, God bless you guys. Stay tuned. We are we're seeing things in the world, Karen, like never before. We are in the final moments of the yes, end of days. So thank God. <laughs> thank you, Lord. But we, we have the joy of the Lord. The joy oh, of the Lord absolutely. is our strength. But going home to see Jesus is much better. Yeah. Plus, you, you have to understand, I've been dragging her out already this morning. We, we leave early. We often leave early. There are a lot of people in crisis and a lot of people in need. And so it gets weary, doesn't it? It does, but when you see the thankfulness in their hearts and in their eyes when you walk through the door with food and you know my pantry by the way is empty all right all right that's nobody's business no 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 no. we don't go there no <laughs> praise god we don't need i keep telling her we don't need it jesus is coming any moment yes so yes. why store anything up we're going now please don't take me wrong i know some of you in threat of cyber attacks and some of you have really clarified the difference thank you this family on here is amazing Absolutely. the difference i mean these this family this channel family you come Just with the prayers the prayers and the love yes. and you come with information on this channel that i i tell my wife i'm like oh, well look at this we got another family member here who has real information about this that I didn't know, and that is so appreciated because we are a family on here, and no, we've already prayed, right? We've already prayed for this channel family. Oh, Every absolutely. subscriber, you've been prayed for, absolutely. and we're going to pray at 1030, um, but what Karen's talking about, I tell her all the time, I'm like, well, we don't need that. Jesus is coming. You have a... You're, you're wonderful. I love you. <laughs> you oh, too. oh, for those who know, I got the ticket yesterday. You should have seen her face. When I came home, I came home with flowers and I bring her flowers all the she time. She should have brought me chocolate too, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what she said. This deserves chocolate also. I came in with that sheepish look like I got another one. And so... Um, just pray for me. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to need a driver. So no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Because Jesus is coming. Well, I wanted to bring you guys. We're watching what's going on in the world. Keep your eyes. If you hear anything, let us know. 
Karen and I already prayed for the people that are impacted on mm -hmm. both sides, on both sides. I, I saw a video yesterday that the IDF did. Um, you can go to their, they actually have a Facebook page and they give out good information there as well, the Israeli D Defense Force. And I, I, I really like it, but there was, there were two, I'm gonna say they're preteen, two boys that came over and knives and the IDF soldier, the way that they treat them with kindness and try to educate them and take them right back home. It's amazing. We're in the final moments. We're in the final moments. He's coming very, very, very soon. Well, God bless you guys. I hope you can join us for prayer. Stay tuned. We'll bring you updates as we can. I'm going to try not to wear this loveliest bride and all the land out too much, but I am a blessed man to have her with me and soon, soon we fly, babe. Yes, I'm waiting for that day. <laughs> and thank you so much for your prayers. It means a lot to us as a family, too. Yeah. God bless you guys. Have an awesome rest of your day.